Okay, so this is a very quick uh, uh, video to go over the Runge-Kutta method uh, for system identification. Uh, and you'll kind of see that you could follow along with the, this code, but you'll still have to make some other changes. First thing that you need to do is load and trim your data. In this case, uh, the file name that I'm using is cart one pen all mass dot mat. And you'll see that the big thing I'm doing is that I'm making sure my value is centered around zero. So if you would plot this data without this, you would see that uh, it is offset by 0.166. And so I, w I simply want to uh, do that differently and uh, get rid of the average value. You can do this however you want to. All right, next thing I do is I define the time and value vectors. So time being t1, uh, uh, x1 being uh, the values. Now, of course, you can uh, probably save your data uh, not in a structure or uh, an array like this. You can save it as separate things, which you've probably done. So this might be unnecessary for you. Next thing we need to do is allocate global variables. This is very important for the ODE solver later on in the code. Uh, then we want to set timing for this. The final time should be the length of your experiment. That could be 60 seconds or 45 seconds or whatever. And then I need a time vector just to make my final plot. Um, next, I need to define my mass. Uh, if you have not added mass to the cart, uh, most likely this is somewhere around 0.55. The spring constant is 2 times 15. Um, C is a parameter that you can change, as it is uh, F0, which you need to uh, change so that the size is about right. Um, and T0, you might want to also adjust. Okay. Then it, there are some calculations performed, and those calculations are used in order to do the ODE solver. Uh, so, uh, again, setting these parameters, you're going to want to change a few of these, um, and then you'll get uh, your ODE solver, and then uh, at the end you just plot. So let's go ahead and run and see what happens. All right, it takes a little bit of time for the uh, ODE solver to go. Um, you can see that it outputs a mega n, and what you'll see is you get something that looks a bit like this. and uh, if I highlight here, uh, you can see that these really aren't good. So you're going to want to, by hand, change some of these values. All right, change some of these values so that way it's more appropriate. Um, and actually, what I want to point out is it looks like here um, the data is not centered around zero, but is rather centered around this point. So that way it starts from zero. Um, I I would try both ways and see which one actually works. All right, so uh, you kind of got a chance to see all of the code through this video. This should hopefully be helpful.